Hi, uh, my name is Pat Hickey. I'm a software engineer at InventSense, and uh, I'm showing off our sensor fusion uh, on the IMU 3000. Um, it's the, uh, the Bondi sensor fusion with gyroscope and accelerometer. Um, so this is our demo platform. Um, it's hooked up to my computer via USB. Uh, it's running our released MPL Lite 1.0 software, uh, and it's streaming a quaternion that's directly generated inside the, the uh, DMP on the IMU 3000 what's to the, my computer. What's the DMP? Uh, the Digital Motion Processor. Got it. So uh, you can see I've got all uh, nine axes of motion here. Or, or, sorry, three axes of motion there. Now why are we putting it on a turntable? Um, what I'm going to show today is uh, we're, we're worried about centripetal acceleration during flight, which um, because of the accelerometer and the sensor fusion could, is going to cause an error in the, uh, the sensor fusion solution. Um, the, as you're rotating around, the accelerometer points outwards like a pendulum, and that's going to cause the, uh, the sensor fusion solution to tilt inwards into the turn, uh, which is bad when you're flying an airplane. But um, we're just going to quantify by uh, doing a controlled acceleration exactly how much error that causes. So the question is, um, this is a six... A six degree of freedom solution. Six degree of freedom solution, right. Now. And ideally, mathematically, you'd want a nine degree of freedom using a magnetometer or a GPS, which we don't have. That's correct. We don't have that yet. Um, it's in the works. Right. And so the question is, if you were to use a six degree of freedom in a turn, in an aircraft, how bad would it be? How bad would it be with the off-the-shelf events and solution? Okay. Let's, um, go, let's see it. Let's make sure it's, it's taped down. And uh, I'm... I'm showing you uh, the cube on the screen here, and this is the narrow face of the cube in light blue. Uh, uh -huh. In dark blue, which is probably a bad color choice, is the back face of the cube. So you can see right. as I, I'm, I'm tilting the sensor by hand there to show you. Got it. That's so what if, it's I, if I so right now um, I, I see almost no dark blue. Um, the amount of dark blue I see tells me how how um, uh, how uh, distorted the solution is by yeah. centripetal force. I need more tape. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's showing you how much it's drifting outwards uh, towards the outside of the turn. And what are the what's the texture? Uh, it's just streaming down the screen. I'm printing out. Uh, we're sending quaternions at 200 hertz. I'm converting that to an Euler angle, uh, which is the roll. Uh, so you can right. see that now, now it's like 12. Right now it's negative 12. Uh, unfortunately, that's a really poor way to display it. It's just a print. Okay. Um, but. Uh, It'll allow us to get some kind of idea of the magnitude okay. in, a, in like a real number. So you're putting down more tape I'm because it's a it down serious because, centripetal because force. Because actually, uh, it's just a really poor one. And I like your, your DJ turntable here. Is this, is, is this your, <laughs> this your, your is, night this job? Is, this is highly scientific. Okay. Um, we, can, we can move it at an exact rotational rate with this table. Right? Got it. So, uh, <laughs> we, uh, I'll just give it a good wet. Uh, Okay, so and I see so some dark blue. What you're seeing there is about 12 degrees, according to the uh, the numbers streaming down the screen right there. So this 12 is, degrees. So this is what it looks like in in uh, when it's static, right? Which and actually I, says five because it actually moved when I did it because it's not clamped down. It's taped okay. Down, right? So that's what it looks like when it's static, and when you spin it, it moved up to what? Uh, looks like. Another three or four degrees peak to peak. Okay, so basically, at that kind of that kind of centripetal force, that right. kind of speed, uh, we're looking at a three to four I degree error. We'll be able to measure the. Uh, we'll, we'll set it at thirty-three hertz, say. Okay. Just just a random number. Okay. Sorry, thirty-three RPM, which is like half a hertz. Okay. Um, and I guess if you knew what size the record was, which I don't. Uh, Twelve you, inches. You can see that the, the sensor is right here, almost at you know, maybe a centimeter inside uh, the out, outer part of this ring. Okay, so someone can do the math. 33 can do that. 12 inch on, on, on the circumference. Right. And, and let's, uh, find out, let's find out what that is. We're going to spin it up. Okay, is it spun up? And it's looking like about uh, 5 to negative 5. Does that look about right? Maybe 6 to negative 6. Okay. As a, as a sine wave there. So we're looking at sort of plus or minus about five degrees of error. Right. Okay, so for those of uh, those who are following at home, do the math. 33 RPM, 12 inch circumference, equals plus or minus five degrees of error. 
Yeah. Yay. Thank you. Cool.